varies from sport to sport and wager type to wager type. Uh, but the, the average wager size, I think, is contrary to what most people think when they think about irresponsible gambling of folks wagering a lot more than they're able to uh, spend. And for the most part, the average wager size for most operators in the U.S. is somewhere between 10 to $20. And it's probably closer to $10 than it is $20. And as a result, it's it's not a huge. Are there folks that bet ten thousand dollars a game? Sure, but there's also people who bet two and three dollars per game, just like they would on uh, a state lottery or something similar. Um, so the the wager size is pretty consistent from state to state because um, most socioeconomic backgrounds translate across the country, right? The same folks in North Carolina are very similar to a group of folks in California or New York or Texas or Michigan or wherever. Now, the, the types of sports can be a little bit different. Now, if you have major league sports teams in your state, you're able to wager on your hometown team or your hometown university. And that's something that North Carolina has ample supply of, right? You have the Panthers and uh, the NBA team, but also many, many college universities that have division one college football and college basketball. So, depending on when the market opens will dictate what sports people mostly bet on. But if you go through an entire year of a cycle of a total sporting calendar, NFL is a very concentrated season in comparison to the MLB and the NBA and the NHL, where it stretches many more months than it does the NFL. So when you look at the amount of dollars placed, the NBA is the, the largest, but the velocity at which the NFL is wagered on because it's only a 17, 18, and then the postseason, it's a, it's a much shorter season. So you're not exactly comparing apples to apples there. So it depends on what lens you're looking through with the market, but inevitably folks from state to state wager on many of the same sports because even though you may be in Charlotte, North Carolina, you may be a Yankees fan or a Detroit Pistons fan or an LA Angels fan. So it's not just, you're not only wagering on the teams that are in your state, but that does have an impact.